This video covers the definitions related to regression equations. If we have two variables that are correlated, we can use this correlation to describe the relationship, as we did in the previous video, but we can also calculate the regression equation, or line, and use that to predict values outside our data set. So what is the regression equation? It's the equation for a straight line that best describes the relationship between two variables. It's calculated by minimizing the square distance between all the points and the line. So sometimes it's called the least squares regression equation. It's also sometimes called a regression line because the equation that we'll find will be the equation that is a line. Sometimes it's called a regression model. In math, a model is an equation or graph used to describe a real life situation. So our regression equation would also be considered a regression model. Recall from algebra that straight lines can be expressed like this, where A is the y-intercept and B is the slope of the line. The calculator function we'll use for the regression equation will give us the y-intercept and the slope, and that's all we need to identify the regression line. This regression equation is the equation we'll use to make predictions, so it will be very important to know which variable we'll use to predict the other variable. For example, days absent from class and final grades in the class are negatively correlated. How do I want to set up the equation? Do I want to use the grade in the class to predict the number of days absent? Eh, probably not. It's much more likely that I'll know how many days a student is absent, and then I can use that information to predict a final grade. The variable we want to predict will always be our y variable. We call that the response variable. The x variable is called the explanatory variable because it's the variable that we will use to explain another variable. It's sometimes called the independent variable. And again, this will always be the x variable. The y variable is called the response variable because it's the variable that changes in response to changes in the explanatory variable. Sometimes it's called the dependent variable because this variable depends on the other variable. Again, it's very important to decide which variable we want to predict and make that the y variable because it will make a difference in the calculations. Let's look at an example. Suppose I'm working as a server at a restaurant and I have data on the customer's bills and on the tips I've received. These two variables have strong positive linear correlation, which I can see on a scatter plot. I want to predict my tips based on the customer's bill, so the bill will be my x variable and tips will be my y variable. I used my calculator to compute the regression line. I'm not going to go over this now because there's an excellent video that explains all this, and we'll also go over the calculator functions in class. So, we'll skip right to the result. An equation of y equals negative 0 0.15 plus 0 0.18 times x. Now suppose I want to predict the tip for a customer's bill of $65. I plug that value in for x and I get a predicted value of $11.55. So that is my prediction for my tip. And one last bit of notation. We use a y with a hat on it, called y hat, as the notation for the predicted value. In summary, we use regression equations to describe the relationship and for prediction. But we will still need to be sure that the paired data is close to linear. If our data isn't close to the line, then our predictions won't be very good. And it's important that we make the y variable the variable we want to predict.